Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I think you should stick around because we better get into some good stuff, some good conversation, a little giggle, some real tea. You know what I'm saying? Just stick around. Okay, y'all. So the Queen of Rap, aka Roman, aka Barbie, aka Hey, would you cool Barbie, aka the Nikki the Ninja, aka Onika Tanya Mirage, has just recently bought a home all right now this is really big but before i get into that we got to talk about how nikki at first was renting okay she was renting out a home in i think calabasas yes calabasas i believe and it was a nice home it had nice rock in the back a little pool and it was really luxurious but she didn't own it she was renting it out all right she was renting it out okay now people were dragging her because she rented out her home they were dragging her for ever since she was living in there and they found out that she did not own it. Oh, they were dragging Nikki. All the, the help, you know, locals, they were talking about, oh, how you rich and you don't own your home? How you got all this money, but you don't own your home? You don't own your house. And they were just trying to drag her for that, okay? Now, me personally, I feel like when it gets to a point where y'all have to bash somebody over their house or materialistic things, it shows that you can't compare the talent, though. It shows the only thing you can you can compare is houses and, and clothes and shoes and cars. But talent is never compared because they know she going to eat them bitches up. So to me, when I heard that, I didn't even pay any attention. I didn't really care because at the end of the day, like, who gives a fuck? All right. If you a celebrity, you got money, you can get you can get a house, you can buy a house, you can rent a house. It all comes down to your preference. OK. And I'm just guessing that at the time, Nikki probably felt like she didn't need it. She didn't need to buy it, okay? Buying a house is a long-term thing. Buying a house is a big deal. Um, and it's actually like a really big investment, okay? And it's something that you have to think about for a minute before you do. So Nikki isn't just going to be out here making dumb decisions and hopping into deals that she is not ready for. Now, fast forward to December of 2022, we then get the word that Nikki has bought a $19 million mansion, all right? $19 million, it is nice, all right? It looks great, okay? And I think that this was her birthday gift to herself. And I feel like it's, it's well-deserved. It's really well-deserved. She's worked hard this year. And I feel like she just felt like, you know what? Let me get myself a house. You know, she's started her family. And it's just really, really good to see um really proud really proud so for her to be offline on hiatus buying houses you bitches could never okay when bitches go on hiatuses they're losing money <laughs> they can't buy no fucking house and that's the benefit of not being in a 360 deal you don't have to always be constantly constantly working and overworking yourself just to make yourself some money okay because you get money off everything and you get a all your percentages all right now the thing about Nicki Minaj's house is that she bought the house before it even was on line to be listed okay um it's sold before listing on the mls according to the property realtors remarks unfortunately that means photos and details of the home are virtually non-existent okay so none of y'all know what it looks like unless you go in there and she is now neighbors with Madonna, Will Jada Smith, Sylvester Stallone, Ben Simmons, and many other Kardashians. So yeah, she's doing it big. Will and Jada is my neighbor hater. But then again, I was online, you know, and then I see that Cardi fans are comparing Nikki's house to Cardi's and just like, okay, you know what? I, why is this happening again? Like, why is this going on? But I don't expect anything less because Cardi's fans are literally Nicki Minaj's second fan base. Whatever Nicki does is going to be in their mouth. But at the end of the day, who's copying mansions without having to have their percentages of their income taken by a label? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know what? This case is just so weird. And I'm so tired of talking about it. I really am because it's just so taxing on the mind every day is something new okay now apparently justin was megan the stallion soup bodyguard all right around that time of the incident happening and he was supposed to testify and he didn't show up <laughs> he didn't show up and he was out in qatar he was out in qatar at the world cup you know we were seeing him in pictures and everything like that all right and all of a sudden you know days go by and then we see his stuff being leaked on the timeline oh y'all y'all can't tell me her megan's team is not out here trying to do damage to these people 
you can't tell me. Like, y'all was in my comments saying, oh, it's not da 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 Megan, you know, she's just trying to clear her name. But no, they're trying to literally control this narrative so bad. Like, they're trying to make, do everything in the power to make anybody who's not for Megan or on Megan's side, they're doing slick stuff. For example, they're muting the blogs. They're suing the blogs. Now they're leaking stuff of people who didn't show up and didn't testify. Like, it's just, you know, and I'm hearing that it's Rock Nation. I don't want to believe that because, you know, hey, you know, they, you know, I'm hearing that allegedly, okay? I'm hearing that behind the scenes, Megan's team and management are doing everything they can to keep her reputation up, okay? They're doing everything. They're doing everything to make everybody who is not on Megan's side look bad somehow, embarrass them somehow, sue them somehow. They're trying so hard to control this narrative. It's kind of scary. It's scary. And it's getting deeper than the case, okay? They're not even trying to solve who, who did it at this point. I just find it weird how all this stuff is happening around the same time around all the incidents the court dates it's just really weird it's suspicious to me it's very suspicious to me and if y'all in this comment saying it's not suspicious and da 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 da, da you're delusional you can't tell me that they're not moving weird y'all you can't tell me megan's team was not moving weird you can't you just can't now do y'all find it weird or is it just me is it just me? Am I am I tripping? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Let me know how you feel about that because, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and move on to this next topic. I can't feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it. I actually hate it because this bitch face really going to go numb if you keep touching it, okay? <laughs> Ain't going to feel shit. <laughs> um, anyway, people on social media are noticing that Cardi B has new face, all right? New face added. Oh, okay. All right. We got a new face unlocked. All right. I wonder who we're going to have next week. But no. Okay. On a serious note, guys, I think this is getting scary. It's really becoming sad. And I think she needs to go to therapy for this because what's going on? All right. What's going on? And, you know, I joked about it, but I really start. I'm starting to really feel, feel bad. I'm starting to feel bad. Like, you know, you're getting work done every other month, it seems like. It seems. I don't know, y'all. Y'all, y'all. If anybody knows people who get surgery or plastic surgery or has surgery and you go a lot or you know the person who goes a lot, tell me the reasoning for it. Like, literally, like, tell me. Because I feel like it kind of leans it towards insecurity. It really does. Like, it does. Okay? I feel like she should have just fixed her teeth and call it a day. Okay? Just fix the teeth and call it a day. Okay, y'all, so apparently it seems like 21 Savage and Lotto are back together. I was scrolling on social media, went through a tab of celebrities who were there, right? And as I was scrolling, I see a thread and I see 21 Savage is there. And I'm like, hold on, hold on a damn minute. <laughs> this girl is really desperate for a man. Lotto will allow herself to be disrespected on a online clubhouse, okay, call when 21 Savage did not claim her. 21 Savage did not claim her. No, 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 no. And guess what she did right after that? She unfollowed him. Okay, cool. And the thing about it is Lotto always says she's in a relationship and 21 does not. And she may be upset about that. So to me, it's giving desperate. It's giving I need a man in my life. It's giving I can't stand on my own two feet. Okay, but let's be real here. Let's be real. Let's call it what it is. Okay. Now, maybe they were going through something. Maybe they were going through some things. You know, hey, you know, all relationships happen like that. Cool. But her unfollowing 21 Savage made everything seem like it was public. And I feel like it was just the wrong move. If that's your man so much and you be under him at night, you should have told him in his face, I didn't like, I didn't like the fact that you did that on Clubhouse. I didn't like the fact that you went online and you said we're not together. And, and even if he didn't say her name, oh, me and Lado go together, she probably wanted him to say, oh, I'm with somebody, but I, you know, I'm not going to speak on the name. And I can understand that. But Lada low-key wants people to know she has a man so bad. She low-key wants people to know she's with 21 Savage. Yes, yeah, she does. She wants people to know that there's somebody in this world who likes that nasty-ass BBL. And I think she also probably felt abandoned that she didn't get claimed by 21. And that's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. And yeah, y'all, let me know how you feel about everything we discussed in today's video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap that bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe.